remember uh, I was in high school after I moved down. Um, and there was this, there was this girl who I was interested in. She went to church. I went to church with her, and I wanted I wanted to ask her out for the longest time. I just I just never I never really, I don't really have game. I'm just not, I'm, I, I just it don't. Uh, if, if Even it, if you literally put the pieces on the board, if it happens, it's it's it's, it's and give it's him God. instructions. It's God because it's not it's not me. It's above me. So uh, I finally asked her out, right? And I'm like, and I, I could tell she's kind of, you know, she kind of expects, you know, some of the finer things, not necessarily in life, but just, you know, has finer expectations. Um, so <laughs> ask her on a date and she says, yes. So I go pick her up and she's like, where are we going to eat? <laughs> so we went to Applebee's. <laughs> I mean, if you were in high school. I mean, yeah, we were in high school, but I mean. A two for 20? It was a two for 20. We still probably could have. I could have afforded to go somewhere a little. Where Olive Garden? A little nicer, but. TJF Fridays. She was like, "Oh, we're going. To, we're going to Applebee's. Nice." Did she find something on the menu? I mean, she ate. Okay. She ate. She ate well. She ate very well. Um, but we ain't go. We we didn't. We didn't have any more. No second date. <laughs> yeah, no second date. I had. I had tried, and then um, I called her one time, and she was just like, "Yo, this is this isn't gonna this isn't gonna work." Big, I need my ten dollars. I was like, <laughs> she's like, no. Oh. It's like, what was it? So was it the appetizer? <laughs> it was the Applebee's. It was the Applebee's, probably. Um, I feel like you. But I was just, but Applebee's. you know, I, it's, it's no secret for anybody who knows me. I'm, I'm very uh, socially awkward, so that's been consistent throughout my entire uh, adolescent uh, into adulthood. Whereas now, I just, you know, if I don't have to engage um, socially, I, I won't. But if I have to, like if Jess is like, I, I want to go somewhere or I got something planned, you know, I'll put on my my social face for a few hours. But when we get home, it's like, oh, you know, like when y'all get home after the event, you take your bra off and you're like, oh, and you like, it's just like freedom. That's how I feel when I get back from from being out and having to be social. So. Yeah. Okay. Huh? OK. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, what's number what's number two for you? Uh, I guess just like this is what happens when you don't do your homework. The constant companionship. I mean, it's like a double edged sword because sometimes it's annoying. Um, Are you mean I'm annoying? Sometimes it's annoying, uh, but hey, am I you essentially am I just it? always have. It's almost like having a twin that's not your twin because they don't really know everything that you need them to know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you just always have like. If they're willing, you always have someone to do stuff with. You always have someone you're wanting to do stuff with, even when they don't want to do it. Um, it's true. Yeah, it's just like a, a built-in installed friend. Like, like hey, like I'll look, I'll be like, oh, this is this is this event is happening or this new restaurant's opening, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, that's your cue. Like, I. I'm trying to go eat there. Say what you mean and mean what you say. If you're just telling me about something, I'd be like, oh, great. <laughs> if you want to do something, you know, like, yo. I'm some real stuff. Yo, let's go do this. Y'all want to get like, real? Oh, okay. Forget forget the five things. No, no, no. Stay, yo, stay marriage on, is low-key ghetto. Stay like, on track. <laughs> like, stay on track. This marriage is, is ghetto. Do not discourage. Uh, husbands are ghetto. <laughs> do not discourage the I've hopefuls. Only had, I've only had one. But yo, husbands you're, are just you're, husbands you're, are ghetto. You are like bursting, this whole marriage thing is ghetto. You are bursting I bubbles. I was right such now. an advocate, like, yo, get married, you know, have your day, change your name, you know, build an empire together. Nah, that is just ghetto. Uh <laughs> like pull you an Oprah, get you a Stedman. Y'all have sixteen dogs, little puppies running around. Y'all be good. So we had we <laughs> I, I try to be. I, I think it's it's fair for us to be transparent. So we had we had a rough week. We did. It was um. It was. I think some of it was spurred from all the things going on in the country, um, and a lot of the headlines. Um, some of it was I was running on very uh, low amounts of sleep. Um, we put out two podcast episodes a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I was I was low low on energy, low on sleep. Our kindergartner was sick. Everybody in the house got sick. It started with our kindergartner, and then the baby got sick, and then me and Jess got sick. Uh, and but, she was home all week, and I was just kind of like, "Yeah, I need her to go." <laughs> um, but we we just we weren't we were we were missing each other, and it was there was there was real friction. So no, it, um, I was making plans. <laughs> it uh it came to a head. Um, 
Saturday? It was uh, when I was doing I was doing the dishes, and I have this thing, right? Because our garbage disposal is trash, no pun intended. Uh, I asked Jessica oh, that was Friday. Friday, I, was, I asked Jessica. I was like, "Don't put stuff, don't put, you know, don't put too much in the garbage disposal." Like Jessica will put like lemons. Like That's how you get the fresh pumpkins, smell. <laughs> pumpkins, cantaloupes. Like she put everything down the garbage disposal, and I'm like, "Yo, while a normal functioning garbage disposal may be able to handle this, ours is not that. So just try to be a little more careful with what you put down there." So I'm do, trying to do the dishes. The, the sink, the water is rising rather than going down. So I stick my hand down the sink, and of course, I pull out some lemons. So I don't say anything. I don't say a word. You said something. I do not say anything. But I just make, I'm, I pull it up and I look at it. I'm like, oh, it's a lemon. Um, lemon, what do you call them? An empty lemon. Like, a wedge? A, as a wedge. Even though I asked for these things not to be put down the garbage bowls. But I didn't, I didn't say nothing. I just threw in the trash. And so Jessica walks by and she's like, you know, you can put lemon wedges down the garbage bowls, right? And I, it's, it's crazy because I didn't say anything <laughs> to her. I didn't say anything at all. Even though she knew I had asked her beforehand not to do exactly what she did. And so she compounds it. By you know, all she did was she just walked by and she and she didn't do this act literally, but by her saying that all she did was just <laughs> she just poked she just poked me, and I'm like, well, just because something just because you can do something doesn't mean you should do it. But I was playing and I was like I said, but I don't want to. And it was too late. She was like, Ooh, and she kept mumbling, right? She's at the stove and I'm at the kitchen and I'm at the sink, and she's at the stove and she just keeps mumbling stuff. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and I actually told I actually said it to her. I was like, look. Say what your chest. <laughs> I say stop mumbling. Which is crazy because he say, constantly mumbles. I say at me. say it with your chest. No, but she was intentionally saying things under her breath so I that I couldn't. It. So that I, I couldn't it hear. To be heard. So that your I couldn't ears hear. Just don't work. I was like, say it with your chest. I said, quit mumbling. So you got something to say? Say it. And then of course she was quiet. So I was like, yeah, that's what I thought. A little. I'm pretty sure I responded. No, you didn't say nothing. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't obey. Yeah, obey like wow, like okay. Like I like I run around here with the iron fist. He tries to. So I was like, uh-uh, player, we're not gonna do this. Cause there are plenty of things I ask you not to do that you still do. But it's a garbage disposal. Its intent is to dispose. But when it breaks, who you gonna you're not gonna call, you're not gonna fix it yourself. You're gonna call me. I'm and not I'm gonna have to spend Morris money. Jenkins. No, you're not gonna call Morris. You're not, no, YouTube. you're not you're not gonna call Morris. I could figure it out. I just choose not to figure things out because I I got you. Well, since and you have since you have me, since you have man me, work. since you have me, listen to me. Anyways. So yeah, we weren't feeling each other this nah. week. Like not at all. Like I slept on the couch a couple I didn't, of nights. I didn't even send him down. Voluntarily, there. I was like, I can't I can't do it. And you know <laughs> like, what? I, I was, my, I, I was relieved, space. but I was also upset. I, I know was she like, was upset. I, was I like, know this fool didn't has the I, audacity. I know this fool didn't come to bed after he I'm, after he been tripping all week. Because I'm not the type to I'm, like I'm not the type of woman who's gonna be like you need to sleep on the couch. Like I, I just I always find nah, that obnoxious. I was just like I was like yo I I need it. But I think and I woke was, up because I was, usually wake up hot at like two o'clock in the morning. So I like went to to I ripped the blanket off me or something or take off a layer. I was like. Oh, he's not in bed. No. He bet. Okay. I didn't I even tell it. you not to come to bed and you didn't come to bed. Okay. I, need, I needed it. But you know what? It was it was the worst sleep I've and, had. And you deserved but you know what? But you know what? I took, every I, minute of it. I did not complain. I was like, you know, but I, I was, it was just, I have to worry about no negative energy, no tension. I have to worry about speaking to somebody when I woke up. I was just like, you know, I, I just put just, my pillow barrier. <laughs> I was just like, you know what? I, I just needed this night of separation. And I know it's common knowledge that couples go through like stages and phases, especially the longer you're together, the more that the more you go through. Um, but we're very intentional about the things that we put on social media too. And we share a lot on social media and we have a lot of fun. We poke at each other on social media, but I've seen people say, Oh, y'all are goals and Oh, y'all are so great and blah, blah, blah. And we appreciate that. Thank you. Because we do try to project a positive image of a healthy black marriage um, and if for no one else, just our daughters, because, you know, when you have kids, you're, you're a living, walking example. Um, but no, oh. <laughs> this thing, Look. this thing is tough and I, and I know it, but 
I know I love this woman and I know this is a woman for me because as tough as it is, as frustrated as I get, as many gray hairs as I've grown since we've been married. It's not on me. Every day, I, as soon as we get done fighting, I'm like, you know what? I can't, I can't even stay mad because I just, this is something about her. Yo. I cannot stay mad it's at this woman. It's good that he's the more be, level. I'm the extreme. I can nah. plot it. I'm like, okay, so let me try and figure out what I'm going to do with these two kids. You know, I got two kids. Who's going to want me? <laughs> like, I, I, I'd be like, Nobody. Oh. I'd be like, oh, this is what we're going to do? Okay, I guess it's over. Like, I am so, and in my head, while I'm being extreme, I recognize I'm being extreme. And I know that none of this, like, that I'm making up, this false reality that I'm making up is actually going to happen. But I get so upset and annoyed because it's like he does stuff. And, I, and and even while we're in the fight, I'm usually aware of the fact that we're going to get past this. And usually 24 hours is our max. But this one kind of went past 24 us, it, hours. It was, a week, it was a good week. So a I was like. Week. I was like, okay, it's over. We're done. Like, I am just almost you know, seven years. I was like, I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this single mom thing. Uh, like, who's getting the house? Maybe we sell the house. We split the oh, profits. I get man. a townhouse. Like, I don't want a yard. It was. It was. It was bad. It was I, as and, bad as it's been and in then a while. The first night he so the, the one night he didn't sleep in the bed, and then the next night I was putting Savi to bed. He was putting Solace to bed, and it took me longer to get Solace to sleep. So I'm thinking he went downstairs to go watch tv so i come around the corner and our bedroom door is closed and i was like he's in our bed and i know how irrational that sounds because it's our bed but I was like, bed. he has the audacity to be in our bed like he needs to go downstairs and go watch something and sleep on the couch again because uh, yesterday he slept on the couch yeah going for some growing pains yeah none but some growing pains yeah hey